learn from each other. I think that there are talented, meritorious, capable women who are ready to serve their nation. And we know that parliaments that have diversity in them tend to make laws that benefit families, women and children in a really positive way. That's not a negative reflection on the current parliament or previous parliaments, it's just a recognition that if we're going to achieve gender equality, one of the first places we have to see women's faces reflected and represented are in powerful institutions and that includes in politics. So Australia's still taken a long time to get, we're not at 50%, we're not at equal levels, we're still trying to get more women and more diverse women into politics and parliament. And anything we can do to work with uh, Niu Vanuatu brothers and sisters, that would be marvellous because I know that it creates change that is real. And I know that little girls and young women today will look at women in positions of power and say, my goodness, I can do that. I can be part of my country's future and its service. And we've seen through the municipal elections that it's not a big deal, that it's actually a really positive, progressive start. And I hope to see changes I guess at the provincial and the national legislature level that start to reflect the important role that women play in their societies. And I know that there are many, many men and women who are committed to